Hi geniuses, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can withdraw from one exchange and deposit it to another exchange safely. And note, if you don't have basic understanding of how to do withdrawal, it might result to total loss of your asset. So you need to have basic understanding first. But if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, can you do so? And click on notification bell to receive notification whenever I post my next video. Alright, before you can make withdrawal, there are some basic things you need to know, such as uh, network. We have different network, such as uh, Exchange Network, Bid on uh, Binance Smart Chain, we have uh, Polygon, we have uh, Arbitrum, we have so many Solana, it is uh, so. It depends on which token you want to withdraw and deposit to another exchange. So, if you want to withdraw Matic now, you have to choose a polygon to withdraw poly, uh, matter from one agent to another. You need to know the which particular blockchain they build on, that particular coin build on. You understand? Assuming you want to withdraw USGC from uh, from one exchange and to, and deposit to another exchange. Now, you need to choose either Arbitrum, B20. Strong, it has 20. You understand? You need to choose the particular network that they are built on. If you want to deposit, uh, if you want to withdraw BTC from one exchange and deposit to another exchange, that means you need to choose BTC network. You understand? Let's move on how to do it practically. Alright, let's say you want to withdraw from a Super X exchange and deposit to your Binance exchange. So you need to go to your Binance exchange. After you log in, go to your this uh, wallet. Click on it. What do you want to do? You want to deposit your USD to this exchange. You click on deposit. Which token you want to deposit? Is it BTC? Is it uh, uh, USD? Is it Matic? If it is BTC, click on BTC. So you will see BTC network. Click on BTC. You see this BTC. You have to choose BTC. So if you choose wrong network, your money is as, is as good as it's gone. The money is gone. If you hear supporting law, it has gone be that. You need to choose BTC network. You understand? So copy the address like this. Now go to the where you want to withdraw the the BTC. Now click on wallet. Click on withdrawal. So you want to withdraw from this super section to Binance. Search for BTC now. BTC. You see this BTC now. This is BTC network. You understand? Confirm. You need to choose the same network. You understand? Note, you must choose the same network, BTC network. Click on the address. This address is like your account number. So, don't press, paste it, direct, no editing. Don't, don't even delete any single one, any single uh, alphabet there. So, how many USDC you want to withdraw? Maybe two BTC. You understand? You now click on withdraw. The next page is your uh, verification that you want to you want to withdraw. They will send you code, or if you are using two-factor authenticator, you will input the code there, and you, you will click on confirm. It has come with that. Now, assuming you want to withdraw USDT now, you go to your Binance again. You will need to choose. Uh, you need to choose. You will need to choose uh, USDT. So click on USDT now. So you want to withdraw USDT. You want to deposit USDT to this uh, exchange now. You click on any. Network. 
You understand? If you like, you can choose uh, it has a 20. If you like, you can choose Sonana. If you like, you can choose a polygon. If you like, you can choose a Ichirasu 20. If you like, pick 20. If you like pick 20. If you like uh, Avalanche chain, their next four fee is Ziva. You understand? You, are, you need to choose the one that has the lowest net worth fee. Like now, if I want to withdraw now, I will choose 20. You understand? I will, I will choose 20 because they are the lowest net worth fee. Unlike this Ethereum, unlike this Ethereum 20, they charge $5 if you want to withdraw. Even if you want to withdraw $10 USDT, they will deduct $5 USDT, which is abnormal. So, if you choose a P20 now, it's only 0 0.28. They will deduct 0 0.28 out of your 10 years if you want to withdraw. You understand? Now, from deposit aspect, they will not charge you anything because you want to deposit. For from withdrawal uh, uh, exchange, they will deduct that money. You understand? So, you need to choose, um, choose P20 now. Copy, copy the address. You see, P20 network wallet address. You see, P20 network wallet address. Copy the wallet address. Now go to uh, exchange you want to withdraw from. Now click on the the exchange. Search for USDT. So now it's USDT you want to withdraw. Click on it. You f look for the the same network you choose. You know, we choose P20 from Binance deposit by on Binance. You see, we choose P20. So you have to choose the same P20 here. Choose P20. Confirm. Note: If you don't choose P20, your money is gone. As I said earlier. So you need to choose between 20. The network must be the same. So click on uh, long press, paste the wallet, uh, USDC wallet address, how many uh, USDC you want to withdraw, let's say 10. You understand? As you can see, they will charge 0 0.28 out of your uh, nine point a lot of ten out of your ten USDC, you understand? They mean nine point uh, seventeen seven uh, seven two USDC. That's that's their own network fee. So assuming now you want to choose another network, maybe you want to choose a uh, uh, Arbitrum. You see Arbitrum, they have the lowest network fee, zero point one. But Binance does does not have it. What I mean is that. They don't offer a strong transaction. You understand? Maybe later on they will approve it. For now, they don't they don't offer it. So assuming they offer a strong transaction now, I will go and choose a strong USDC wallet address. You understand? I will not confirm here again. If assuming that I don't choose a strong wallet address, I copy this page here. Choose a strong type. Uh, how many uh, USDC you want to withdraw? Click on confirm. And that's all it has gone you understand make sure make sure you use the same network you understand if you want to deposit usdc choose usdc wallet address of the same network like choose wallet address of 20 on binance copy it to super x exchange Again, paste it there to the same network with 20 before you proceed. You understand? They will, soon, they, will, they will even ask you make sure you choose the same network. So, if you don't choose the same network, your money is gone. That's all. See you in the next video.